The universe is undoubtedly full of unexplainable mysteries. It's so big and so unknown to us that humanity may be extinguished before we ever discover everything the cosmos hides. But in order to find amazing and inexplicable things that you don't have to travel the entire universe, in fact, you don't even have to leave the planet. Under the Earth, people have found objects so mysterious that have driven scientists and archaeologists crazy. So join us to learn what they are in these five underground discoveries that can't be explained. Before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. A Mysterious Theater Under the Wailing Wall A lot of things have been found beneath the Earth, but most of the time they don't go beyond some human bones, a chest with an incredible treasure, or some strange objects. However, this discovery surprised everyone because they had never seen anything like it. What would you think if we told you that a group of archaeologists discovered no other than an underground theater, and not just in any place, but under the Wailing Wall? But this discovery had been something that an archaeologist had talked about many years ago. The Jewish historian Flavius Josephus, who lived in the first century of this era, spoke of the existence of a small theater built under this wall in Jerusalem, but nobody had seen it for almost two millennia. Archaeologists had been looking for this theater tirelessly for 150 years without results. But they were fortunate archaeologists who, in 2017, finally found the oft-mentioned theater. As with most great discoveries, this happened almost by accident. The group was in an area looking for something else, when suddenly they came across something strange. They found a group of stones placed in a strange way. Well, strange for the archaeologists, because sure, none of us would have noticed anything strange there. After conducting several studies, they realized it was a theater built by the Romans in the 530 BC, but a wall is the only thing left of this place, because it's really old and was also underneath the earth. Since the theater was built in a confined space, the group of archaeologists believed that most likely it was used for acoustic performances or as a place for the city council to meet as well. But there's a second theory stating that it's even possible that this place was probably never used at all. They say it because the stairs weren't completely finished and because there are rocks that weren't polished entirely. Anyway, it's incredible they have found something like that with so many years of antiquity and in such an iconic place like it is at the Wailing Wall. This lets us know there are as many mysteries under the earth as there is sand in the sea. You just have to know where to look. Number 4. Baghdad Batteries Maybe if today we tell you we found some buried batteries, you look at us with an odd face because that's not at all impressive. But hundreds of years ago, no one thought of the existence of batteries, did they? In Baghdad, a very interesting as well as strange discovery was made. In 1938, a German archaeologist named Wilhelm Koenig found mysterious clay vases under the ground. These vases weren't like any other. There was something special about them, and we mean literally special. Inside was a copper cylinder with an iron bar. This seemed strange to Koenig. He worked for the National Museum of Iraq and wrote a report claiming that what he had found was a kind of old electric battery. Let's see. Take into account something very important. It's assumed these vases are no other than 2,000 years old, which means they weren't even a bit close to the invention of something like a battery. But we should also remember that from this area, some civilizations were born and we owe the written language and the wheel. Unfortunately, after this archaeologist made that wonderful and great discovery, something not so wonderful and great happened. War broke out and their discoveries were forgotten. Luckily, his work was discovered by other archaeologists who resumed the investigation and over the years have carried out various tests where they've been able to verify that with the materials that were inside the vases, one could really generate electric power. This is an incredible thing because of how old these vases allegedly are. In fact, the most incredible thing about all of this is that, being several vases, it seems they were created to work together. According to the experts, if these vases were connected, it created much greater energy. No one can cease to be amazed by the fact that something so advanced was created 2,000 years ago. Obviously, when doing the tests and seeing that they can really work, the doubts have increased and so did the interest in the batteries. The mystery remains about who created these batteries and for what purpose they did it. At a time as old as in which they were created, the possibilities are few. In addition, according to experts, these batteries are a real treasure since there's nothing in the world that resembles them. Number 3. Fossil of a Whale on Top of a Hill there's something that's very clear, and it's that whales have existed for many years on the Earth. So finding the fossil of one isn't something too impressive. But what is definitely quite impressive is that the fossil was discovered on top of a hill. In 2016, archaeologists discovered a fossil of a whale near a river they estimated was 1.8 million years old. Incredible, right? Well, that may seem incredible until you learn that a year ago, some archaeologists found a much cooler fossil. First, this fossil wins in antiquity because it's no less than 4 million years old. 
And second, instead of finding it in a river, it was on top of a hill. In California, a residential complex was being built in 2015, but they had to stop the work when they came across something strange while they were digging. Those responsible for the work thought it was the remains of an animal and wisely decided to call a paleontologist to study what they had found. After the expert carried out the studies, they could say that what these men had found were the remains of a whale that were also in almost perfect conditions, which means the bones were practically intact. But as we already told you, the curious thing about this whole matter isn't the fact that they found the fossils of a whale, but the place where they found it. The remains of this whale were found in a place that's very, very far from the sea. It didn't even happen as in the other case we mentioned where they found a fossil in a river, which is strange, but not as much as this. The big question everyone is asking is, how the hell did the whale get to that place? An expert tried to explain this strange event. He says the whale could have moved from the water to the mountains thanks to earthquakes and tectonic plate movements, things that are very common in the state of California. But still, this is something you don't see every day and that you can't say is a very common thing. What do you think? Number two, the Mount Owen Claw. Theories about aliens are as old as man. From the moment we start thinking of many of the things that escape our understanding, we immediately associate them with beings that are outside the earth. There are many people who believe faithfully that there are alien civilizations far more advanced than ours and who are obsessed with invading us and ending life on Earth. Almost 30 years ago, a group of archaeologists discovered in some caves something so impressive that immediately unleashed the craziest theories you can imagine. But we don't judge them because what they found looks, even in broad daylight, quite scary. It's a kind of terrifying claw that seems to come out of some frightening horror movie. It was huge and seemed to belong to a kind of dinosaur. The researchers who found it were quite confused, because being in a cave you can't imagine there wasn't a lot of light. The worst thing about this finding was that the claw was in such good conditions that it seemed like it belonged to an animal that could easily be still hovering around the cave. Something we imagined didn't give them much encouragement to stay there for much longer. But since they were scientists and curiosity is one of the things that feature them, they quickly took the piece and started to carry out some studies as soon as possible. And the results were as amazing as the claw. It turns out that the fossil was about 3,300 years old and belonged to a bird that they say resembles the ostrich we all know. His name was Moa Bird, and these animals came to measure up to 3 meters high. But after a while, those who discovered it stated it was an unknown species. There was no record of this supposed new species. Obviously, everyone began to ridicule him and tell him he was crazy, but he made a replica of the believed new bird, and apparently he was able to convince his colleagues that he had really discovered a new species. The strange thing in this entire situation is that after they had all agreed this paw of an animal belonged to a prehistoric animal, they changed drastically their opinion to agree with the discoverer saying it was of an unknown species. This great incoherence made room for many to think this was all about a conspiracy and that what they had discovered was part of an alien creature. Opinions come and go, and nothing seems completely clear. Number 1. Rosetta Stone As you know, humanity has gone through different stages to be able to reach what we are today. But discovering all the enigmas behind all the civilizations that existed before us isn't a simple task at all. An example of this is the incredible Rosetta Stone. This fantastic stone was discovered in the year 1799 in Egypt. Yes, it seems that everything great is hidden under the sands of these mysterious lands, which were also the scene where one of the most interesting civilizations that once inhabited our wonderful planet lived. But what is it that makes this stone so interesting? Well, on the surface, there are hundreds of small writings that are obviously in a very old language. But the most incredible thing is that it was not a single language. There were several. The first part of the text was written in hieroglyphics. The middle part, the experts say, was written in Egyptian and the lower part in Greek. Amazing, don't you think? The discovery of this fantastic stone was made by a French officer named Bouchard Pierre, who belonged to a group of engineers that was part of Napoleon Bonaparte's campaign. This gentleman was doing a routine job when luckily a huge black stone caught his attention. He alerted the superior, who quickly ordered its digging, and they sent it to Alexandria to be studied. The text written on this mysterious rock dates back to March 27, 196 AC. That is, a few thousand years ago, and it was a gratitude to the man who reigned at that time. Apparently, people in those days wrote with combinations of ancient languages. What isn't known with certainty is how the stone came to that place since it wasn't found near any temple. Its discovery was a simple coincidence, as usually happens with almost all important discoveries. All right, top fivers, if you haven't already, make sure to visit our other channel, The Brilliant, for even more interesting list videos that'll blow your mind. But I'm warning you, the videos over on The Brilliant are extremely addicting to watch as well. There'll be a link in the description to the channel, so make sure to come and visit us. Or you can go to our latest video popping up on screen right now. Oh, and have you visited thefinestpost.com to enjoy the most amazing articles you'll ever get to read?